Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're in Auckland this weekend, you're in for a treat. We've got a lineup of amazing events you won't want to miss. From cultural celebrations to captivating performances and inspiring exhibitions, Auckland's got something for everyone. This weekend is packed with opportunities to get out there and experience the city's vibrant energy. Whether you're chasing the rhythm of live music, the thrill of a sporting retrospective, or the beauty of contemporary dance, I've got you covered. So grab your calendars, charge your phones, and get ready to dive into the best Auckland has to offer this weekend. Let's dive right in. First up, we're heading over to the ASB Howick Recreation Centre for the Auckland Moon Festival. This vibrant celebration of the Harvest Moon is a feast for the senses, with something for everyone in the family. Imagine walking through a sea of colourful lanterns, their soft glow illuminating the night. The air is alive with the sounds of traditional music and excited chatter. Food stalls line the walkways, tempting you with delicious aromas of authentic Asian cuisine. For the kids, the Moon Festival is a dream come true. Think bouncy castles, face painting and interactive games galore. It's a chance for them to immerse themselves in a different culture, make new friends and create lasting memories. And let's not forget the star of the show, the food. From savoury dumplings and juicy barbecue skewers to sweet mooncakes and refreshing bubble tea, your taste buds are in for a real treat. Bring your appetite and be ready to sample a bit of everything. Just a heads up, parking can be a bit of a nightmare, so I highly recommend taking public transport. Trust me, it'll be way less stressful. Plus, you can fully indulge in all the delicious food without worrying about driving home. The Moon Festival is a celebration of community, culture and togetherness. It's a chance to experience the beauty of tradition, sample incredible food and create unforgettable memories with loved ones. Don't miss out! Next, we're shifting gears from the bustling energy of the Moon Festival to the intimate setting of the Black Grace Studio in Western Springs. Black Grace, one of New Zealand's top contemporary dance companies, is hosting two unique events this weekend. First up is Words and Wine, an evening of conversation and connection. Imagine being in a cosy studio, surrounded by fellow art enthusiasts. A single spotlight illuminates the stage where members share their stories and inspirations. The atmosphere is electric with raw emotion and vulnerability. You'll gain a deeper understanding of the dedication and artistry in each performance and enjoy a glass of wine while you soak it all in. On Saturday, Black Grace presents Company B, showcasing their latest work. Prepare to be captivated by the raw power, athleticism and grace of their dancers. The intimate setting allows for an up-close and personal experience. You'll feel the energy, hear the rhythm and be completely immersed. Whether you're a seasoned dance aficionado or new to contemporary movement, don't miss Black Grace's performances. Witness the transformative power of dance and connect with your emotions on a profound level. Now, let's head over to the Auckland Central City Library for a truly special exhibition. Waiwaya Angan Gutu, Speak Eloquently, is a celebration of Taonga Māori, offering a glimpse into the rich history and artistry of Māori culture. This free exhibition is particularly poignant as it coincides with Te Wiki O Te Reo Māori, Māori Language Week. It's a time to celebrate the revitalization of this beautiful language and acknowledge its importance in New Zealand's cultural landscape. As you step into the exhibition space, you'll be greeted by a stunning display of Taonga Māori. From intricate carvings and woven garments 
to beautifully preserved weaponry and ceremonial objects. Each piece tells a story, whispering tales of generations past and the enduring legacy of Māori culture. Take your time to appreciate the craftsmanship and artistry on display. Notice the intricate details, the symbolism woven into each design, and the stories these objects hold. It's a powerful reminder of the depth and richness of Māori heritage. Waiwaia Unga Ungutu Speak eloquently is more than just an exhibition. It's an invitation to learn, to engage, and to connect with the heart of Māori culture. It's a reminder of the importance of preserving and celebrating indigenous languages and traditions. Whether you're a seasoned history buff or simply curious to learn more about Māori culture, this exhibition is a must-see. It's a chance to deepen your understanding and appreciation of Aotearoa New Zealand's unique heritage. Calling all sports fans! This weekend, Auckland Museum is taking us on a nostalgic journey through time with our game, A Century of Netball, in Aotearoa, New Zealand. This exhibition celebrates 100 years of Netball New Zealand, showcasing the sport's evolution from its humble beginnings to its current status as a national obsession. Step inside and be transported back in time. Imagine walls adorned with vintage photographs capturing the raw emotion and athleticism of netball legends. You'll see iconic uniforms, from the days of starched skirts and knee-high socks to the sleek modern kits of today. Get up close and personal with treasured memorabilia, like weathered netballs signed by legendary players, vintage trophies glinting under the museum lights, and handwritten game plans that led teams to victory. But it's not just about the objects themselves. Our game tells the stories of the people who shaped netball into the beloved sport it is today. Hear from pioneering players who paved the way for future generations, dedicated coaches who nurtured talent, and passionate fans whose cheers echoed through stadiums across the country. Relive the most thrilling moments in New Zealand netball history, nail-biting finishes, underdog victories, and the unwavering spirit of the Silver Ferns as they battled on the international stage. Whether you're a die-hard netball fan or simply appreciate the power of sport to unite and inspire, our game is a slam dunk. It's a celebration of athleticism, camaraderie, and the indomitable spirit of New Zealanders. Finally, we're ending our weekend adventure with a trip out of the city to the beautiful Coromandel Peninsula. The Witianga Oceans Festival is back, bringing its signature blend of live music, exceptional local food and wine, and a healthy dose of coastal charm. Picture this you're strolling along the picturesque Witianga waterfront, the sun warm on your face, the salty tang of the ocean in the air. The sounds of live music drift through the air, a mix of upbeat tunes and soulful melodies providing the perfect soundtrack to your day. Food stalls beckon with an array of culinary delights, showcasing the best of the Coromandel's bounty. Freshly shucked oysters, juicy prawns straight off the boat, and fish tacos bursting with flavour. It's a seafood lover's paradise. And of course, no trip to the Coromandel is complete without sampling the region's renowned wines. From crisp Sauvignon Blanc to full-bodied Chardonnays, there's a perfect drop to satisfy every palate. Find a shady spot overlooking the water and toast to the good life. The Witianga Oceans Festival has a decidedly adult vibe, making it the perfect escape for a weekend getaway with friends or a romantic escape for two. Soak up the sunshine, indulge in delicious food and wine, and dance.